the Lagos State Government, alongside the police tax force overseeing the enforcement of the ban on motorcycles in the state, commenced the crushing of the impounded motorcycles at the premises of the Security Tax Force. We call that the Lagos State Governor, Babajide Songwulu, had earlier declared a ban on all motorcycles across the state, which was due to take effect from the 1st of June 2022, as a result of the continuous menace associated and linked to Okoda riders. Reacting to the exercise, the Commissioner for Information and Strategy, Lagos State, Benga Omotosho, noted that the exercise was to prove to the good people of the state of the commitment on the part of the government in eradicating insecurity from the state. What you people feel is uh, indefensible. Last my people, they are doing their best, they are very beautiful, they have been strengthened. Over 1,000 of them were hired when Mr. Bajdeson Wolu, the governor, came on board. And then I, I, I can see they extended their, their uh, hours of uh, work. So they've been doing a lot. What I think negotiations should also consider is that the human element. Most of our people, they do not obey traffic rules. Most of our people, they see the labor, they won't pack there. They just go and park on the expressway and begin to pick up passengers and drop off passengers. All of the road signs that we are putting in there, at times they remove them. And then uh, you see that there is a law that you cannot drive against uh, uh, the traffic in Lagos. But look at all the vehicles around them. Most of them, they drove against uh, the traffic. That's why they were impounded. So the human element is also there. If we cooperate with the government to obey the law, some of the things you talk about traffic jam here and there, they will go down. Also present at the crossing site, the Commissioner for Transportation, Lagos State, Dr. Frederick Oladengde, gave his words on the importance of the entire exercise, noting also that alternative measures have been put in place by the state government to those affected by the ban. The bus reform. When you look at the bus system, there are three levels of um, modes um, in the bus sector. So you have the BLT, which would, um, <coughs> which would ply the expressway, you have the blue buses that will go, um, that would act as feeders, and then you have the first and last mile that will go into uh, the community. So the first and last miles are the ones that are supposed to go into your community, and that's why they're about set 10 seaters, eight to 10 seaters. They will go in and then bring people out, they'll bring them to the expressways and so that they can board uh, the feeders as well as the BLT. So there's a hierarchy of um, system that we're deploying just to make sure that we serve all our communities um, in Lagos State. The chairman of the tax force, Lagos State, CSP Shola Jejelui, also spoke on the action being taken to eradicate the use of Okada in the state. Enforcement so far, so good, because it's not something that came into play just on the 1st of June. This enforcement came in force on the 1st of February 2020. And since then, we have been on it. It's just that people believes in violating the law, which I don't think is good enough in a cosmo, uh, cosmopolitan city like this. But since on the 1st of June, there has been more than 85% compliance. 85% compliance in the sense that we don't see your cadres on the road, on the express any longer. The number has drastically reduced. But I know for sure, and I'm passing this information to them because they, they are watching us. They might be of the belief that the first one week of the enforcement will be thorough. After one week, we are going to relax. Anyway, we will, we will watch and see. But I'm passing this uh, message to them that from next week, we will do more intense enforcement. Even those areas we cannot get to this week, we are going to extend. You can, know, you can see that this started on Wednesday. So another phase will start on Monday. These three first days of enforcement is just to test run it, to check the number of compliance. Then the sustainability plan is the next phase, which we are going to enter on Monday. It's so hoped that these measures and ban placed on motorcycles would bring a halt to insecurity in the state. From Lagos, Emmanuel Olubobokun, Kaftan Television.